In this energy clearing session, we are looking at healing old family patterns and releasing karma. So stay tuned. Hi, it's Robin from Vibration Elevation, and today's stone is amber. And it's not really a stone, it's more of a resin, right? But it's still something with qualities of healing. And this is all about healing family patterns. It says healing family patterns, releasing karma, preserving the wisdom gained by the lessons of the past. And that is the name of the game, quite honestly. It's not just clearing, but when we clear, we always want to include that we keep or we integrate the lessons. And that's part of what I put into the clearing sessions. But if you want to just let go of all the stuff, that's great. But there could have been a lesson you needed in that. So you don't want to have to learn it again. So you always want to be sure that you keep the lessons that are in the patterns and in, you know, the stuff that you are clearing. So it's one thing to do the clearing, but it's always important to add in keeping all the lessons because that is how you integrate them into your whole, into your entire field and how you don't have to learn them again. Because if once they're integrated and you know them, they're done. You don't have to do that, that whole lesson thing again, at least in that area. So today's clearing is clearing family karma, healing family patterns. And I think this pretty much pertains to everyone. So when we do this clearing, we're going to, I think we should focus on one person at a time. So if there's one person in your family that stands out, like their stuff here, start with that person and then go through the other people in your family. And at the very, like, I, okay, so I'm suggesting you do, like you do this a couple of times, okay? And then at the very last clearing, do the whole entire lineage at once. So I would guess you might want to do this three or four times. The last one being the whole lineage, backwards and forwards. You can just do the whole thing with everybody lumped together, but if you have strong family patterns, um, doing individuals first, especially the troublemakers, that will be a way to make it just a little bit easier. So go ahead and if you're going to choose one, think of the one person you have the most conflict or the most underlying tension or outright anger with. Whoever it is, start with that one person in mind and notice how that shifts before you go on to somebody else or the entire lineage. Okay, so here we go. Let's do the clearing.
All right, we're done with that one. Notice how you feel about that one person. Did it shift? Did it change at all? Do you need to do that? Do the clearing again with that one person? Or can you move on to somebody else? You can play around with this one and clear the karma between you and each person that you would like to clear it with and see what happens. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. It would be great if you would post below how this worked for you. And you don't have to say the person's name. You can just say a family member and let me know how things went. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up so other people can find it. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching or listening and I'll see you in the next one.